Welcome back everyone to AHSAA TV Weekly. We are so excited to have on our program now Central Clay County High School head football coach Danny Horn and Vols quarterback Deshaun Gibbons. Welcome to the program, you guys. I'm glad to be here. Well, Coach, we've got an exciting milestone and record to talk about with you. You just earned the top spot as the AHSAA's all-time co winning this coach with 358 wins. How does that feel, Coach? Well, I mean, be honest about it, uh, it kind of snuck up on me. I, I really didn't know anything uh, really about it until uh, last week. Somebody called me and congratulated me for a uh, tie, and I said, uh, I thought they was talking about the, the game we just played. I said, no, we won. He said, no, you're tying the record. And I said, well, you know, I'm, I'm just worried about winning the next game. And, uh, and that's, that's all my focus is on. And, and um, you know, I've been blessed throughout my career to have really, really good players and good assistant coaches and a, and a great fan base. And, uh, you know, it's just uh, it just means I've been probably coaching too long probably what it what it means but uh, um it's a it's a great honor well i don't think that's what it means but um let me ask you deshaun you have been a part of this win obviously this historic win over elmore county that got coached this record but a lot of his other historic wins so can you tell us a little bit about what it means to you to be a part of a milestone like this uh it feels great to you know be coached by one of the greatest high school coaches of all time uh he gets us mentally and physically prepared each and every week and he does a great job with that. And coach, tell us a little bit about Deshaun's contribution to your team on and off the field. Well, Deshaun's a winner. And, uh, you know, I can win if I got winners. And uh, he's one of many that we have. But he's, uh, you know, he, he played receiver and, and, and DB all through the years until this year. And I, I moved into quarterback and, and – um, and he's done a, a great job uh, running and throwing and, and running the team and, uh, and still play the DB. Uh, not many quarterbacks at this level go both ways, but he's, he's a really good athlete and he's, he's mentally tough enough where he can handle it. And, uh, you know, he's uh, one of those quarterbacks where, you know, he can run and throw and puts added pressure on the defense. And, uh, and we ask a lot of him. He's got a lot of reads he's got to make, you know, within a split second and, and sometimes, you know, he's, he, he makes good reads and, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, he, he don't because it's just so that quick. But he's the type of athlete that when he has a bad read, he can still make something out of play. And, and um, you know, we're expecting great things from here on out from him. Well, Coach, we were going over some of these stats and these records in the studio earlier, and it's an interesting thing going on here at the top of the leaderboard. So you've got 358 wins. Terry Curtis at UMS Wright has 357 wins. Paul Benefield at Fife has 355. All of you guys are still coaching. All of you have successful teams. So, you know, this record may sort of shift around between the three of you a little bit. So tell me a little bit about your relationship with those coaches and maybe some of the things you have in common that make you so successful. Well, um, I mean, I love both of them. Uh, I've got a good relationship with, with both, and uh, they're both great coaches. And, you know, I'm just honored to be my name mentioned with them, too. And, you know, with this is kind of uh, really amazing if you look at it, that, uh, that all three of us is just kind of going back and forth with it. And, you know, um, I don't know how long – you know, however how long I got coached, it won't, it won't depend on, on this record. It just – it depends on when I when I feel like I've had enough, you know, I'll I'll retire and 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 they're probably the same way. But um, you know, it's it's something special that uh, I don't think that uh, really I don't think it's ever happened in the state, uh, obviously before. And uh, you know, it just every week it it could change, and um, you know, that, that's just how it is. Well, Coach Horn and Deshaun, thanks so much for taking the time to be with us. Uh, congratulations again on this huge milestone for both of you. Coach, hopefully we can have all three of you coaches maybe sit down together and share with us some of your wisdom. You're all, all of you are great coaches doing it for the right reasons and having a lot of success. Well, so good luck to your team the rest of the season. We appreciate the time. <laughs> they, can share, they can share a lot more wisdom than me, I can assure you that. Uh, but I, I well, do appreciate the opportunity. Well, hopefully we'll get to hear it. Oh, all thank right, you. thanks so much. And we'll be right back after this on AHSAA TV Weekly.